Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And today I wanted to go over a quick video here, a few minutes of your time. Sorry I've been not uploading to the channel here, the secondary channel for the air guns, just life and other stuff, and I've been posting the main channel. But one of the most questions asked questions I get all the time is when should I clean my barrel? And I've kind of hit on this topic before, but I noticed a lot of guys have come over from the Shoot to Kill Outdoors channel and subscribed here. So, uh, basically, you know, it's a no-brainer, really, if you're shooting and uh, you notice uh, inconsistency downrange, whether your group's starting to open up or whatever it is, because barrel and ammunition or pellets, you know, vary. Well, in this case, which is a perfect example, example I have my Umarex Gauntlet here, my 22 caliber, and I have the shroud off, and you can just see the bare barrel here underneath the shroud and even lubing pellets and stuff um, it's gotten to the point with this barrel that uh, because of the choke that it's clogging the rifling so here's the muzzle and the rifling and lands in here I can see how far down the barrel the choke is probably about two to three inches long depending on I don't know the exact dimensions just going off from what I can tell uh, the actual lands and grooves are filled up with lead There's no, pretty much no rifling left here because of the lead deposits. So, like I said, you're going to be able to tell. And what simply what I do is I could tell by running a flashlight uh, from the breech and looking down the barrel and seeing how reflective it is. Well, this barrel is not reflective at all. I'll see if I can show that. I, I took pictures because... Um, it's just hard to see in that little 22 caliber bore, but you can, there we go. You can see how, you can just see how much lead build up there is. There's, doesn't even look like there's rifling in there. So a simple fix to that in any barrel really is to scrub it out. And that's what I do. Cause if even if you do swab the barrel, you're not going to get that lead deposit out. So I'm using a bore brush, 22 caliber bore brush, bronze, to get that out. And accuracy will definitely change. Accuracy and precision will definitely change of the barrel. Um, I know a lot of guys watched this, my videos posted on this channel and actually tested my theories. And, you know, um, across the pond over in UK, I've tested my theories. Italy, uh, a couple other guys over here on the homeland of USA have seen these videos and tested it out. And... Basically, cleaning your barrel, uh, like I said, with a bronze brush, uh, or brass, I'm sorry, brass brush, will uh, definitely increase your accuracy and precision downrange because um, your barrel is getting built up with that pellet lead, um, depending on how fast the pellets are going, velocity-wise and all that. Like I said, barrel and ammunition combo results will vary. So, anyways, let me show you here. Just a big glob of dust came out. And this gun, after I brush it here, should be a mirror finish all the way through. Because it just, like I said, it just starts down in here. So I don't know if it's because of the choke, which I'm guaranteeing it's because the choke is too much for a harder pellet. There we go. Let's see if it made a big difference. I'll take a picture too to show it. Oh yeah, you can see the rifling and lands and grooves. Okay. Alrighty, well I appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, one of the most asked questions on both channels, when should you clean a barrel? And this is a perfect example of when to do that. Um, like I said, I couldn't really see this down here because I was looking uh, with the shroud on and everything. And it'll be more reflective down the barrel. It should be a mirror finish. 
all the way down. So, alrighty guys, thanks for watching.